Hello, bonjour, and welcome to your new RT1 Exchange video. Welcome to this channel where we explore together, we discover and taste exceptional wines from around the world. Here we have two incredible wines, in fact, that we've selected for you, although we're making two separate videos, one for each of them. These two wines are among the very best wines in Chile, South America. As a proof of it, a legendary blind tasting remembered as the Berlin tasting, somewhat similar to the famous Judgment of Paris that you may have heard about, this tasting ranked these two wines as among the very, very best in the world, better than some of the very, very, very best in the world. As it turned out, blind tasters found them better than the most respected chateaux of Bordeaux, Grand Cru of Margaux, Poyac and the likes. We'll talk in a second about this Berlin tasting event and how it went about. But in this video, we're talking about a wine that is called Senya, a wine that started as a joint venture between American wine legend Robert Mondavi and one of the most respected wine producers in Chile, Eduardo Chadwick, president of the famous Bodega Errazuriz. This wine ranked better than Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Latour or Chateau Margaux at this Berlin tasting. Let's talk about this wine's story. Robert Mondavi, the California wine legend, first visited Chile in 1991 to explore its wine country and learn more about its up-and-coming wines at the time. That's when he met one of the most respected of all wine producers in Chile, because of course he did, namely Eduardo Chadwick that we'll mention a few times here. That's when they began thinking about creating together a world-class wine, an icon-level wine, able to shine and carry high the colors of Chile on the international scene. A few years later, in 1995, they signed into agreement the very first international joint venture in the history of Chilean wine, which gave birth to this Bina Senia project. Today, Eduardo Chadwick is the sole owner of Bina Senia, but as the winery says, quote, Robert Mondavi's pioneering spirit continues to accompany Eduardo Chadwick as he fulfills the dream they shared. So this is a Bordeaux blend made mainly from Cabernet Sauvignon with a little bit of Carmenere, Chile's flagship grape that has its origin in Bordeaux, France, in fact. It's got also a little bit of Merlot and a bit of Cabernet Franc and Petit Verdot, so a Bordeaux blend. Of course, it's hand harvested from some of the best vineyards in arguably the most reputable area in Chile for making red wines, the Aconcagua Valley. Careful handcrafted winemaking, of course, similar to what they would do in Bordeaux or Napa Valley, with 22 months of aging in 100% French new oak barrels. So, textbook high end traditional winemaking for crafting international level wines has been used here. Senya ranked second at the historic Berlin testing, just a straw below the very top wine of the event, Bignedo Chadwick, this very wine here. So let's talk about what this was all about. In the early 2000s, a man called Eduardo Chadwick, who we've just talked about, and who was running the famous Errazuriz winery in Chile. If you know a little bit about Chilean wine, you've probably heard about this name, Errazuriz. He was looking for ways to have the quality of Chilean wines acknowledged on the international scene. Chile has been making wine for a long time now, but back then, they still weren't recognized or regarded to be among some of the very best wines in the world or be able to produce some of those. People just didn't know yet. So Eduardo took example on the legendary 1976 Judgment of Paris, you would have heard about an event that confronted in a blind tasting Napa Valley wines to Bordeaux wines. And this tasting judged California's Napa Valley wines to be better than some of the top Bordeaux wines, even some of the top Burgundies if we're talking about white wine. So Eduardo decided to reproduce a similar event, but with Chilean wines facing not only Bordeaux wines, but also Italian legends, Bordeaux blends from Italy, such as Sassicaia. 
On January 23rd, 2004, Europe's most influential wine writers, sommeliers and leading critics were gathered to blind taste 16 wines from France, Italy and Chile, including these two wines and including the illustrious Chateau Lafitte, Chateau Latour, Chateau Margaux from Bordeaux, to name a few, but also the two Italian Super Tuscan superstars that I've just mentioned and those two Chilean wines. Senya and Bignedo Chatwick. Steven Sporia, the very man who had organized the Judgment of Paris back in 1976, some 28 years prior, was even there to preside the event. Guess what happened? These two Chilean wines were judged as the two best wines of the event. Bignedo Chadwick was first, and Senya, this wine we're looking at, second. This is the story of the legendary 2004 Berlin tasting. After the inaugural Berlin tasting of 2004, which started things pretty well, as we've seen, for Chadwick and Senya to further prove their point, that event has been repeated annually around the world, like in Tokyo in 2006, Beijing in 2008, New York in 2010, or Santiago de Chile in 13, just to name a few of these great events taking place annually in a great city around the world. And both Senya and Binedo Chatwick have consistently featured among the top, the very best wines in the world again, facing some of the top French, Italian and Spanish wine superstars. Now, at the Alti Wine Exchange, we've secured for you some of the very last bottles of these very specific Chilean wines, the same vintages that have been ranked at the top of the wine chain by world experts. So we've secured the last 60 bottles of Binedo Chadwick 2010, yes only 60 bottles left for sale in the world, 96 bottles of Senya 2007, one of the stars of those events, and only 12 magnum bottles, this time of the exceptional Senya 2008, prices ranging from 130 euros to 220 per bottle. Incredible prices for such high levels of quality. The competitors on those events are on much, much, much higher prices, and those ones are built to age for a very long time, decades, quite possibly. Wines definitely to invest on for the future. We have a few bottles of them for you available through our exchange, link in the video description. But let's get back to the wines, shall we, and talk further about them. So let's talk about Senya wine and see what it's got to tell us. At a glance, I've been looking at it for a little while, but even at a glance, you can certainly tell that this is a seriously concentrated wine. It's very dark, it's very, very dense looking. It does look youthful as well, with very dark red color, but also very youthful purple hues, which is how you can tell that a wine is young, that it's got a lot of potential. But let's get sniffing. Wow, yes indeed, it's got deep, intense notes that really jump out of the glass straight away. The fruity intensity is what really strikes first. Pure red berries expression, which is a trait that I often find and to me is very characteristic, in particular of Chilean wines. You don't find such a precise fruity definition in many other countries, but if you sniff harder and pass this, yeah, you will certainly find that it's not only simple red berry fruit aromas, it's surrounded by a deep background of really extremely fine and very dark chocolate, like the finest chocolate that you've ever tasted, some dark roasted cocoa, a little bit of coffee, it's a little smoky as well, it's got some licorice, it's very fruity at first, but also very deep to smell at. There's really a lot going on. I love this explosive fruitiness and all, all the chocolate that it's got as well. But let's taste it. I really love the finesse, the silky granulosity of the tannins. It's really silky, it's velvety, it coats your palate with this 
delicate, yes, silky texture, somewhat like a very fine clay, which is very rare. But it's also extremely juicy. It's got some very good acidity that really underlines the freshness of the raspberry flavors that come with the juiciness, the salivating acidity that raspberries have as well. So you can really sense that there's some raspberries characters in this wine. It's very precise, red, fresh berry characters, flavors overall, very juicy and luscious texture as well where really the fruit flavors dominate. Oak is extremely well integrated. You hardly detect it as such as purely oak, which is quite not very usual for such a young wine. Although you can actually sense, of course, that it's brought some depth, some spiciness, those smoky roasted cocoa flavors. That's most likely oak with the wine itself as well, of course. It's almost a little savory as well to the finish with a lot of umami flavors. It's a little bit ashy and it's got a smoky finish as well. So many, many layers of complexity here and outstanding silky texture. Again, really the standout point, the highlight of this wine, some vivacity from the vibrant acidity, all of which makes for a layered and complex wine. This is a wine built to age very well. It's very balanced. It could age at least 15, 20 years easily. I can certainly see how you could enjoy this wine as much, if not more, than an excellent Bordeaux wine. It's got the finesse, it's got the depth, but with more fruit pungency, more juiciness and vibrancy as well, I would say a delicious wine of international level agreed. This was the story and the taste of Senya, a legendary Chilean wine. If you want to watch the video that I made about the other star of the Berlin tasting, Vinedo Chadwick, I'll link to the video I made about it right at the end. Both wines are available on the RT Wine Exchange platform with additional info through the link in the video description. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in the wonderful world of wine. I will get back to this wine. It's so delicious, such an outstanding tasting experience. See you soon. Bye -bye.